to get going Gotta catch those runners taking off like a Boeing If the volume spikes, then it's time to trade Mighty 90 setting up, it's time to get paid Dr. Chad on the mic, time to get focused We don't need any indicator, hocus pocus It's all about the price, just watch it move Manage your risks so you don't lose First hour of trading is all we need Focus on the patience and forget about greed What is up, everyone? Happy Monday, October 7th, 2024. Got some red coming in this morning. Dow futures down 132. NASDAQ futures down 94. S&P futures down 19. VIX up about 9%. So my one DTE will be in play today. I might give it um, five or 10 minutes here, just to, the VIX up 9%. May give it a little bit just to make sure we don't get, like, get some massive movement right out of the gates. Hope everyone had a good weekend. Starting to see more earnings popping up. Individual stocks, we got Meta and NVIDIA are in the green. Baidu and Baba again in the green. Goog, AMD in the green. Everything else flat or in the red. <clears throat> there is the bell. If you are new, welcome. We're trading the Mighty 90 Continuation Runner and Volume Runner. If you're not familiar with those, you can find the courses in the day trades, uh, the day trading course by signing in at navigationtrading.com. Make sure you place uh, about a, it's wise to place about a hundred paper trades of those strategies. So you just, you know, they're not difficult to do, but just so you know what's going on. Also, you need to make sure you, have some type of risk management that could be you know how how much buying power you want to use based on your account size S and P futures. All right. well, the S S and P, I guess, is coming down a little bit. Nasdaq down eighty two. S and P down eighteen. I think I'm going to go ahead and put on my one DTE. So bear with me here. I'll be gone from the mic. I'll be gone from the mic for just a minute.
Trying to get filled on my one DTE here. And doesn't look, look like I'm going to get filled. <clears throat> so I'm going to try some different strikes here. All right, just got filled on my one DTE, so I'll post that in my channel. I get our second bar, so we'll look for some volume. I get my OCO order in on my one DTE. We got that finished. All right, let's take a look, see if we find any volume runners out of the gates here. <clears throat> Not really seeing any good volume here. Volume appears to be pretty low.
NVIDIA getting a little bit of volume. Um, I'm not sure if it'll get there or not. It's got a minute. <clears throat> So I'm going to keep my eye on NVIDIA here for a potential upside volume runner. The second bar has got to be bigger than the first. Does not look like it's going to get there. So we will wait. One DTE is up 8% already. All right, time to start looking for some mighty 90s as well. Amazon coming down. Hmm. Square pushing up. Looking for some mighty 90s now as well. Meta coming down to Friday's high right here. Potential key level where it could bounce. We'll see. Push through it right there. See if it stays below it or not. Yeah, it popped right back up. It's Kind of what I thought it might do. If it comes back down, I may may get long meta. Just gonna keep an eye on it. That key level. <clears throat> I 
VIX up nine and a third percent. Today we trade the four days to expiration option chain. Four DTE. S&P coming down. I'm watching Meta here. I'm looking at getting long Meta. And if it was to push down through Friday's close, I would just bail on it quick. So I'm looking at the 600 calls in Meta. Ah, man, it couldn't get filled. I was trying to get filled at 710. All right, still, still maybe staying down there. Build at seven twenty five. In meta on the six hundred calls, so I would get out of half at. Let's go eight bucks. Looking for a little continuation up out on a bounce off the um, Friday's close. One DTE is up 10%. <clears throat> little upside continuation on the meta there. It might also be called one of what Steve calls his stop hunters. It comes down to a key level. And I was a nickel away from getting out of half my meta. You coming down through lows of day. Meta back down to where I entered. Bummer. I was real close to getting out of half.
<clears throat> Not seeing anything else in terms of mighty 90s or not much volume. Getting a lot of stair stepping down in volume, kind of like NVIDIA here. You need the stair stepping down. There's not really not really much many opportunities when it does that. And now Meta comes down to where I originally wanted to get in. Bummer. So we'll see Meta continue to bounce here. If it pushes through, I would just that would be my line in the sand where I would just exit. Tesla with a little bit of a mighty 90 there. It's got that volume bar is bigger than the previous. Not by much. I mean, it's not the best looking mighty 90. But technically, it would be. All right, I'm going to exit Meta. Push down below there. Build at 660 to exit. So not, not that big of a loss. But if I didn't get didn't quite get the fill I wanted. Nvidia is, you know, it's 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 holding up right where it is here. It <clears throat> might be setting up for upside continuation. SP has been pretty choppy. Watching that Tesla potential mighty 90 there. It's got that pivot here. It's coming down to it's bounced off of a little bit. Good out meta. All right, Tesla, I'm gonna look at this mighty ninety and jump in here, two fifty calls. Build at 780 and Tesla on a mighty 90 long.
that we could have a half my Tesla at 860. S&P just came through lows of day. <clears throat> Boeing trying to get to highs of day. The one DTE is up 13%. Accidentally went bigger than I, bigger than normal today, too. I'll easily do six contracts. <clears throat> My default is 10, so forgot to lower them. So we're looking for two consecutive green bars in Tesla. NVIDIA ended up coming down here through that little consolidation point there. <clears throat> Not a ton of opportunities so far today. Apple pretty choppy. Man, that... At Metatrade, I was a nickel away from getting Phil on half. And it ended up reversing on me. That was a bummer. Tesla trying to give us one green bar. Pretty choppy here to start Monday today. Netflix pushed down out of the gates. Starting to trend upwards.
Not much volume today. No big volume bars. All right, so we got one green bar out of Tesla. Can it give us a second consecutive? Point base through highs of day. Not many opportunities today. Volume really low here in Microsoft and, and Meta. Pretty low in Apple. S and P pretty choppy. Hasn't really broken out one way or, one way or the other. Need another push up in Tesla. I mean, that mighty 90 is just about to, I mean, I even kind of forced it. I mean, that's not the best mighty 90. You know, it's, I like to see a little more separation than that. But it pushed down, you know, an, another push here. That's why I got long. Besides that, there just hasn't been any, any good setups today. I'm going to order 860 to close half my Tesla. Or I'll close half here when at the end of this green bar. Or I mean, I'm sorry, I'll close it all at the end of this green bar. Point base breaking out of its chop. <clears throat> Hard to it's hard to trade a continuation runner when things are choppy.
Wayne Mace may be get getting a mighty 90 short. So Coinbase, I would trade the 172.5 puts. Trying to get filled in Coinbase. Need to get out of my Tesla as well. A build at four seventy in coin. Go to eight twenty five in Tesla to close. So a little bit of a winner there. I would close half my coin. at 520 so I had this had this uh, let me go ahead and put coin up here so you I can reference it <clears throat> you can see Tesla two green bars and then we exit So mighty ninety here in coin, looking for now, to, and it also had a price push, which is what you look for in a, in a mighty ninety. So um, now we're looking for two consecutive red bars. If you're new, I always position size so that I can add in a mighty ninety. So if it was to push up one more time, you know, I might add to it. We may get a volume bar bigger than the, the first here. <clears throat> now, if it's red, great. If it's green, then I would exit because it's, you know, if this flips green before this bar closes, then I would, you know, it turns into an upside volume runner. But as long as it stays red, we're good. See Tesla coming back down, so another good exit. <clears throat> Quite a bit of chop. 
S and P up or um my one DT is up twenty percent now. All I need is forty cents to hit my twenty five percent profit target. That's that's nice. On Monday, this quick. Uh, filled uh, five twenty in coin to close half. I would close another coin at five seventy. So one one red bar from coin. Let's see if we can get a second consecutive. That bar didn't quite get as big as the first. Boeing breaking out of some consolidation. I'm trying to see if we have any downside continuation runners. We really don't even have any good setups for that. S and P really choppy. So in, in terms of TLC trades, you know, I like to look for those two pushes. It hasn't. It hasn't had any pushes. So when it's like this, you know, what makes me a little cautious is, you know, at some point it's going to break out of where it's at. So does that mean a big move or a small move? Would definitely like to see it break out at some point here before I enter a TLC trade. Roku with a big volume bar to the downside. As long as it stays red, it could flip back green pretty easily. There's still plenty of time. <clears throat> We're about 35 cents away from booking 25% profit target on my one DTE. Here you can see. Roku's flipping back and forth between red and green. Apple getting a little mighty 90 long, maybe. It's got a little, little bit of a price push with it as well. I would trade the 225 calls in Apple. See if I can get filled at 230. I may have to adjust. Coinbase looks like it's going to give us another red bar as well. Build a two forty one in Apple. All right, I'm going to be closing my coin. Let's 
giving me my two consecutive red bars. Oh, 510 to close. And in Apple, oh, I hit I hit profit target in my one DTE. 25%. Nice. So I would close half my Apple at 265, which it's already there. Build at 267 to close half my Apple. See, nice looking, mighty 90 and Apple. You see how it's really got this. It had the price push, and then it had a really nice volume pop. Very nice looking setup there in Apple. That's why I jumped in there. I would close another Apple at 290. I'm going to put a 50% profit target in on my one DTE instead of 40. All right, so S&P, here we go. It's just what I was talking about. It's trying, it's, it just hit highs of days. So trying to break out. <clears throat> Roku getting a little pullback uh, on that upside volume runner. If you want to jump in there, I'm going to go ahead and pass just so I can. It's getting to be close to 930 Central when I start focusing now on watching for TLC trades. But yeah, what a nice looking Mighty 90 setup in Apple. So if you're, if you're just learning... Got this red volume bar here that has that's bigger than the previous one, same direction. Nice separation there. In fact, you can see how that one looks better than the Tesla one that I did. Um, and also had a price push down. So I'm trying to get long at the bottom of this, close to as close to as possible to the bottom of this red bar as possible. And so I got in and then got out of half of just with this little push up at the end of the bar. Vic's only up 8% now. Now, today was a good day to accidentally... Put in 10 contracts in my one TTE instead of six.
Got an order in at 290 to close another contract of my Apple. So barring any catastrophe here in Apple, it should have a nice green day to finish for the day trading strategies today. <clears throat> Currently up over 3000 bucks for the day when you throw in my one DTE in my day trading. Man, may not even have to do TLC today. I like being up that much without even having traded your main strategy yet. All right, Apple spit out one green bar for us. Can we get two consecutive? Meta tried to it tried to turn around, but then came right back down. You get out in Coinbase. You see that I got out of that mighty ninety just before this bar closed, and it ended up flipping green, and now it's through highs of day. Roku's in such a tight range. Be nice to hit one more profit target in Apple before I have to close it. It's trying to get the highs of day. S&P coming back down, so... Didn't really break out. Might be about time to put in a TLC trade. No real breakout in that first hour almost. Roku's Trying to get through highs of day. All right, Apple's giving us a second green bar. I'm going to go ahead and leave my Apple on, see if we can get a little run up, up here. So 
kind of going against the rules. But it's pretty close to hitting my next profit target. Let's see if we can get Apple to push through highs of day before I close her out. Okay, so it's given us it's given us two consecutive green bars here. So normally that's our exit for a mighty ninety. Let's just see what. Let's give it a, the first minute and see what this next bar does. Or you can close and take your profits. <clears throat> yeah, not doesn't look like it wants to. No. It's not moving a ton. Apple's not. I'll go ahead and close my Apple. Go to 272 to close. So nice winner there. Nice little green day on the day trading. All right, I'm going to jump off and um, start looking for TLC trades. Uh, S&P really hasn't broken out yet, so I might try to look to get one on here uh, sooner rather than later. All right, I'll see everyone during Power Hour. Have a good one. Peace.